Hey guys, welcome back to Retro Peace Theater and our playthrough of Final Fantasy for the original Nintendo. When we last left off, we were wandering around in this area and we were getting ready to... we were trying to level up to level 2. Now I cut out a lot of the combat because it just gets kind of repetitive and boring, but the next battle I go into should put me over to level 2 and will give us a good idea. Uh, I'll be able to show you guys what leveling looks like and uh, we'll be well on our way to where we should be. So, here we go. Ooh, that pony. Alright, now the Mad Pony should give us enough experience to put us over, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to have my these guys fight, and we're going to have him fight, and you're actually going to see my Black Mage, we're actually going to use the Fire Spell, because uh, it does do a significant amount of damage, and uh, I don't want to risk this Mad Pony killing anybody. Here we go. And there it is. Dun 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 dun. I love that music and the little victory dance. You can't see me right now, but I'm actually doing the victory dance um, here in my pajamas. All right, monsters perish, and that does give us enough experience. So here we go. Everybody's leveling up. Now I have this text speed set at the fattest, at the fastest speed it can go. <laughs> Not the fattest, uh, at the fastest speed it can go. So with all of these things that are popping up. If I had this set any slower, you can imagine how long it would take and how many times you'd have to sit there and just press A to go through it. So now everybody is at level 2. There we go. Now, something I'll tell you guys, um, if you're ever curious about, you know, how many, how much more experience you need to get to the next level, if you go to status and then pick a character, it'll tell you. 51 experience points, and then I need 145 to level up. Um, something else I'll tell you too is if a character dies, during the battle, or if, you're, if you have a dead character, when everybody else levels up, um, he won't get that experience because he's dead. So uh, he will be, you know, a little bit behind in experience from everybody else. Now, we did level up, but um, not everybody's health is back up to full, so we are going to rest real quick. We'll pay some money, we'll rest, and then we'll go on our way. Here we go. So we have enough money right now that I'm going to buy another spell for my Black Mage. I'm going to buy Lightning. Um, because if you remember, the weapon that he has is a small knife, and it's okay. But if we're fighting bigger enemies, it's useless. It doesn't, it'll do 2 or 3 damage, whereas his spells will do, can do 20 or 30. So I'm going to give him uh, Lightning. And that's all we're going to get for now. And we're going to go up to the castle and figure out what we're supposed to do next. Here we go. Get out of town here. And here we go. Welcome to Castle of Corneria. The king is looking for the Light Warriors. You do not happen to be them, do you? Why, yes. Yes, I am. Now, I do want to show you something really, really funny. Um, not a lot of people know about this, and I kind of stumbled upon it. But right here. This space that I cannot walk into. But there is a person there. They did not edit the sprite to put it in there, but you can talk to them, and this is what they say. The princess was looking for you. Now let me tell you why I have a problem with that. Up to this point, nobody even knows that you're here. You're just four warriors that wandered in. How does the princess know you're there? Magic. Okay, anyway. Uh, all the guards say the same thing at this point. The king is looking for the Light Warriors. You don't happen to be them, do you? Why, yes. Yes, I am. Alright, and there's the king. And apparently you can just walk into the throne room, because, you know, that's that's what you can do with the king. You can just walk in and go, Hey, king! Um, but, you know, whatever. Talk to the king. Light Warriors, just as in Lucan's prophecy, Garland has kidnapped the princess. Please help her. Um, that's it. I don't know who Garland is. Um, but he's kidnapped the princess, so we need to find the princess. Um, and actually, you, if you've never played this before, you do have to talk to everybody, and here's why. If you don't, you have no idea where to go. Uh, you can figure it out, eventually. But, if you talk to this guy, he just tells you. Reports say that Garland holds the princess in a temple to the northwest. So that's where we're going. Alright, here we go. Now we're gonna leave the castle. Um... There's lots of other stuff here, but stuff you can't do until later in the game. Like, you see these two rooms up here? They are locked with what's called the Mystic Key, and you don't get the Mystic Key until quite a bit later in the game. 
Um, so we're not gonna I'm not gonna deal with that right now. Uh, we can't do anything with it. This room has the uh, princess's younger sister, the other princess in it, and this one has the queen in it. And basically, they're just begging you for help. We're gonna bypass that because again, boring conversation anyway. Uh, now we're gonna head to the northwest and we're gonna get into some combat. We may may or may not go up a level. We don't have to go very far, but um, you want to be at least level two when you fight Garland. Um, Garland is a little bit of a pushover, but um, still, if if you're at level two when you fight him, you're fighting him on kind of the same level he is. If you're level one, you're a level below him, and if you're level three, you're kind of overpowered when you fight him, and it's just a super easy fight. Um, like I said, it's not a hard fight anyway, um, as you'll see here in a minute. But we are going to travel north, northwest. Here we go. Um, and it's really, it's really the only direction you can go. Um, so you're going to travel through trees, travel through a marshland, which is what this bluish, greenish area is here. And we're going to fight some more imps. And as you go on and you're going through the game, you're going to go through areas and the monsters will be stronger, they'll be more appropriately leveled for where you are. Um, so if you go through an area and you're just getting stomped by all of the monsters, it's a pretty good indicator that you should go back and, and gain another level before you go through there. Um, because the game does not adjust all of the level, all of the monsters' levels to your level. Um, so let's see here. There we go. And then there is Garland's Fortress. Let's wander around. Let's go and do another battle just for just for fun. Ooh, another mad pony. These aren't terribly difficult. They can be a problem if you miss your uh, miss your spells. Um, and we're gonna use lightning on him. Just because. But if you try to attack him and you miss enough times, they, they have a really high um, speed with evasion. Whatever their evasion score, it is considerable. So I've been lucky and I've hit him with every attack so far, both times I fought him. But um, they can they can wreak havoc with your party if you if you get a bunch of really bad rolls. Uh, and this is Garland's castle now. Here, there are other rooms around the outer edge, over this way, over that way, that also require the Mystic Key. You just have to come back here later. We're just going to bypass all the wandering and go straight to Garland. There's Garland, and there's the princess behind Garland. So here we go. No one touches my princess. Light warriors, you impertinent fools. I, Garland, will knock you all down. I'm sorry, that's just the, the voice I, I hear in my head when I talk to him. Right, this is Garland, our first, I guess you could call it a boss fight. Um, actually, we're going to have her use her Cure Magic on Toby, because he's a little lower than I like. And we're going to use Fire. There we go. And he's back in the game, alright. Now you do actually have a limited number of your spells, um, and the higher the level spell when you get it, the more uses you get and before you have to rest again and use it some more. Um, so we got a significant amount of gold there, 250, um, but as you can see, Garland, not terribly difficult, definitely a first boss kind of character. Uh, you can talk to the bats. Key, key! You know, for some reason I was thinking one of these actually said something but I could be wrong. I could be thinking of something else. Nope. Okay. I was wrong. Oh, we get into a battle. Creeps! I'm not sure what they look like. I feel like there's a joke here, and I'm missing it. But that's okay. We'll just kill them. And I'm out of... I'm out of spells, so we're just gonna kill them. I forgot you could get into combat just wandering around inside this room. That's okay, we can always use the experience. It doesn't hurt to go up and level again. These guys seem to be quite a bit tougher than my characters are ready for right now. I don't think anybody's going to die necessarily, but you know, it's definitely going to take a few attempts to kill them. 
Yeah, see, my, my black mage, he only did one damage there. And there's one. And there's two. Yeah, we got, we got 31 experience points. That's good. I wonder how far away we are from uh, gaining a level anyway. Oh, we're 55 away. That's not bad. All right, so let's talk to the princess. So, you are the Light Warriors. Thank you. And somehow we're magically transported back here. And we'll talk to the king. Thank you for saving the princess. To aid your quest, I ordered a bridge built to the continent. Go now and make the orbs shine again. Maybe talk to the princess. This loot has been passed down from queen to princess for 2,000 years. Garland stole it when he kidnapped me. Please accept it as my gift. It just might come in handy. And we're actually going to use that near the end of the game. Until then, it's just something in our inventory. So that's where we're going to end episode 2. I'm going to save, heal up, and uh, I'll see you again episode 3. If you like what I'm doing, please like and subscribe and tell your friends. Thanks, guys.